Yo, what's up? It's RDE, and today we're going over the setup and high round strategies for the map Bodega Cervantes. To start, do your first 10 rounds in box room, and while you're in here, you're going to want to hit for a Delisle or a Ruby Rolls. But before we do that, uh, let's go over a class setup. You're going to want to use Free Fire with Resourceful, Fully Loaded, Specialist Training, and then you'll want a Throwing Knife and an MP40. But before you move on and get your box weapons, you're going to want to move out and do the uh, second pack punch, otherwise known as the duck easter egg. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated than uh, some of the other ones, so we're going to go over it. Uh, there is three different parts to this. Uh, so part one, you're going to have four sequences of one duck to shoot. Part two, you're going to have two sequences of two ducks to shoot. And part three, you're going to have three sequences of three ducks to shoot. On this step, I recommend having three jack-in-the-boxes and just throwing them over the fence on last zombie and focusing on the ducks. And in between each part, uh, you'll notice when the part is over. And uh, just throw another jack-in-the-box over, use all three of them to keep the zombie alive, and focus on getting the step done. Uh, once it's completed, you will notice there is a battery on the ground, and you'll just have to pick it up. If failed, you're going to have to uh, end the round and complete one more round before you can try it again. After you complete the duck easter egg and get a starting weapon, you'll want to fill your first battery underneath box room by quick reload. Quick note that all three batteries become available at different times. Uh, the battery at Pack-a-Punch is available on round one. The battery at Quick Reload is available at round 5, and the one closest to the armor machine is available on round 10. Once you've done the Quick Reload battery, finish up to round 10 in the box room, and then make your way to the armor battery and throw a jack in the box for the first Brenner. Brenners spawn every 10 rounds on Bodega, so keep an eye out, and their uh, health value does go down by round 70. You can kill them with a single tomahawk by round 70 forward, so really just look out for them the first 70 rounds. Um, but once you fill the first battery and kill the Brenner, move on, get your armor, double tap, and then uh, work on filling your final battery. And once you've filled the final battery and ended the round, Pack a bunch, get stamina up, and make your way back to box room. Now for mid rounds. For mid rounds, you'll be using your Delisle or Ruby Rolls or GBMG, depending on what you get, in this box room window until round 25 when you can hit for the Hurricane. Another quick side note is that you can start getting the Ripsaw and Tesla Gun out of the box on round 10 and then all upgraded variants of the Tesla gun are added to the box on 25. Your mid-round strategy will remain until the mid-70s or 80s when you'll start to have to train with the Ripsaw a bit, which is the main strategy because of potential freezes with the Hurricane. Before we get into it, I would like to showcase a few freezes that this community has gotten playing Bodega. I believe we are getting closer to figuring out what causes the freeze, but for now, I suggest not camping with Hurricane past 150 to round 200. For the high round strategy, you will be running a bit of an L-shaped path while spamming Ripsaw and rebuying ammo while passing. A uh, huge credit to Randizi Gaming for this footage of uh, round 200 plus on Bodega and this will be the main showcase of the high round strategy. Uh, when running this L shape, I just recommend, I mean, knowing all the spawns and keeping track of them the best you can, shoot behind you in situations where you feel safe enough, and uh, always keep track of your ammo count. That's a big thing. I mean, running out of ammo and then having to run back to pack a punch with no ammo on the rip saw is pretty scary, <laughs> especially because this map is the most prone to freezing, in my opinion. So using a hurricane or a midnight does really put you at risk. So always hold on to ripsaw ammo. I also recommend meleeing the whistlings on their backs uh, and just getting rid of them because those can be one of the most annoying parts of this training strategy with them charging and stunning the zombies so that they're not following you correctly. It's better to just melee them in the back and get them out of the way. But that's the 
premise of the bodega high round strategy um, in terms of reset uh, we've tested and found that it's somewhere to be about 100 to 120 hours so um, yeah that's really all the info we have so far um, nobody's actually achieved it <laughs> but um, yeah this map has a lot of room for potential still so I hope this helped you in some way, and uh, hope you can get a high round from it.